Hi everybody, it's Katie. Today is a super special video. We are celebrating Disability Pride Month, which is July, and I'm participating in a huge collaboration with a ton of content creators from YouTube. All of their links and information will be in the description below, and be sure to check them out because everybody is gonna have a different take on how they interpret and celebrate something fun for this particular month. Our goal is to think about the good and the positive things that we personally associate and I have decided to do an art therapy retreat. For those of you who don't know, I taught a lot of art therapy classes and art classes in the past and I really love the color purple and I have a lot of fond memories of doing art with people who are in the hospital or various different situations. It was clear to me for this collaboration to represent me and my needs and to represent the history that I have working with disabled people that an art therapy retreat was definitely what I was going to be doing. I associate disability with two different things. The first, of course, is myself. I do have a couple of disabilities that I deal with with medical conditions. They are not very easy for people to see, and so sometimes it's difficult for me to deal with situations when people don't know that I have disabilities. In addition, I have a very special person in my life. My best friend's daughter is about seven years old. Her name is Grace. Grace has a serious disability where she suffers from seizure disorder and it's a complex seizure disorder that will cause her long-term and lifelong disability. I love this little girl. She and I have become extremely good friends. I love the color purple and it has become her favorite color as well. I love art and she loves art too. She is really, really gifted at expressing herself with many different artistic supplies. Because she's a special person in my life, I am definitely dedicating this video to her and to all of the fun that she and I have had in the past with art. As I was putting together the build, I really focused on what I wanted. It was not about necessarily what was going to look the best or how everything was going to be the best episode I've ever done for a video before. It was literally building so that this room was put together and made me happy. I remember so many unique spaces where I taught art classes in these tiny, cramped, beautiful little rooms full of character and I really thought about them and used that as inspiration as I was putting the inside of this build together. I also remember that my favorite way to teach is with a whiteboard behind me and so I had to rearrange the room last minute to make sure there was room for that whiteboard in the back. All right, I wanna take you through a quick tour of what I have put in this area and why this is going to be my ideal or at least a typical art studio for any type of art therapy. Back here in the corner, you can see we have a water cooler to stay hydrated and the copier. I don't think I've ever used the copier in a build before, but of course you need a printer and a copier for your art supplies. The music is not working for me. Hmm. Let's see about something maybe a little bit more fun, a little more upbeat for sure. Oh, I know, I know. We'll go with our basic here. Bubblegum KK, let's go. This little shelf here is amazing. I like the dresser, just looks like it's full of so many supplies. All those drawers back in the corner, a vacuum to keep clean. The sink also, rinsing off our brushes and filling up water. The whiteboard I was telling you about, I love teaching class with the whiteboard in front of me. All of the pamphlets here, ready to go. So many different little details that remind me of my past and of some of the things that I've done before. Oh, over here on this side is the desk. This would be ideal if I had a computer and a desk and a setup right in the classroom space. And then back here with Alice, who I love, by the way, I picked her for the build because Alice is my favorite little baby. She's such an awkward little cute and I adore her.
thank you so much you guys for being here for seeing the work that we've put together and if you've made it this far in the video please be sure and share anything that you would like to about yourself or your story or the people that you know also don't forget to check out all the other videos that were posted the same time as mine from the other creators in the description below i hope you found something useful here and continue creating in this game until next time have the best Animal Crossing Day.